Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday Swatch Fest Day to you. Thank you for coming and hanging out, whether it's on Saturday or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. Um, thank you guys for coming to enjoy this feature on my channel. I so love putting it together for you guys and I'm so glad that um, we can all just chat about polish together for no rhyme or reason and just enjoy our time together. So I'm going to there's going to be a little bit of extra noise today because I have a fan on. I'm trying to stay cool this summer, guys, and um, it's turning out to be a pretty difficult feat. It's usually about 95 to 100 degrees here already where I live, and um, I would love to keep the house at like 72 degrees, but that would cost me a million dollars, so I have to keep the fans going, so sorry about that extra noise, and sorry about my horrible horrible voice. Um, this cold won't go away and it's just eating away at my throat now. <laughs> so anyway, um, <clears throat> it was Saturday so I couldn't not do Saturday Swatch Fest even though my voice sounds horrible. So um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and push through. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, before I get started, the lippy I'm wearing today is actually a CoverGirl lip gloss in like some old packaging. I'm not really sure. Oh, it's the Colorlicious Whipped Berry Mousse. No. It's a Colorlicious Lip Gloss in Whipped Berry and then Mousse was part of the French um, translation of this. But anyway, it's number 700. So I think it's the only one I own in this packaging, but it's very, very light. You barely can hardly even see this at all. Um, so on your hand you can kind of see it but on my lips I really couldn't really see it at all but anyway so it's just really easy to wear so all right let's get started <clears throat> I have a lot of really nice colors to show you today and some that I'm extra excited about so first off let's look at red for my red polish I'm showing you Ulta let the flames begin it's just a really gorgeous classic red um, it doesn't have too much orange in it. It's a really nice cream. It went on really nice in two coats. Of course, you can find this brand at, or this line at Ulta. I think right now they're having a two for six sale, but I think I picked them all up at two dollars. So yeah, watch out for those sales. You can get these for a pretty good deal and they are pretty consistently a good polish in my opinion. So yes, this one, let's take a look at this one first. Okay, next up is pink. <laughs> Every time I start talking, I can't believe I sound like this. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, for pink, I'm swatching <clears throat> Sally Hansen in the Extreme Wear line, and it is called Bubblegum Pink. And this is one of their, I think it's one of their basic ones, like um, like one of their core line polishes, I think. Um, I picked this up forever ago, so it must be, I think it must be in their core line. Anyway, it's, as you can see, it's a bubblegum pink, but it has lots of shimmer in it. I actually think this is, is really nice for a pink, um, and the shimmer looks really, really, really nice. So, anyway, um, let's take a look at how it swatches in two coats. Okay, for orange, I'm sharing with you this 
kind of peachy coral. It's from LA Girl in the ColourPop line and it's called Hot Stuff. And it, on the first coat it was a little bit disappointing, um, but on the second coat it was actually kind of nice. So um, I don't really like love, love this brand, but you can get them for like, I think like $2 online. Um, anyway, they're pretty affordable. Not not every polish in this line is very good, but some of them are okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you how this swatches. Alright, for gold today, I'm going to be sharing with you this Zoya Mini Severine. This came from their Mystery Trio, not the most recent one, but the one before that had kind of like the really fall colors that were just kind of, I don't know, I didn't really care for them. This is like a, um, this is a gold, but it, as you can see, it's not a super yellow gold. It's kind of like a, like a, like a antique gold. Um, it goes on nicely in two coats. I mean, it's, it's a nice gold if you're looking for something that's, kind of antique looking. I, I didn't have any issues with this polish. It just wasn't my favorite color ever. But I'm just finally getting around to swatching it, so let me show you how it goes on. Okay, this next polish is really, really cool, and I like it a lot. It didn't make my A-plus spot because it takes an extra step. So for me, um, that's just kind of something I take into the equation when I'm um, picking my favorite one. But this is Pure Ice. <clears throat> so sorry about my voice. This is Pure Ice in the shade Saddle Me Up. And as you can see, it's like this golden green shimmer. And I'm going to show it to you on its own. But over this color I'm wearing on my nails here, I'm going to show you that too, and it is so amazing. If you've been wondering what was on my nails in um, the close-up shots of all these polishes, it's this sucker over this dark blue. It is so gorgeous. I love it so much. I really, really fell in love. Just because it takes that extra step, it wasn't my top polish this week. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad that I'm even making you listen to me right now. Um... But yeah, let's take a look at how it swatches. You're going to love this one, you guys. It's so pretty. Okay, for blue, I'm sharing with you Orly in Boho Bonnet. This is from 
not last spring, but 2014's spring collection, I believe. And it's not really very blue. I mean, it is blue, as you can see, but it's more of a gray. But I kind of just stuck it in this slot anyway. Um, I was really hoping to love this one more than I did. I can't believe it's taken me this long to swatch this polish. Seriously, you guys, I picked this up so long ago. Um, but it was a little bit thin. So that's the reason for me that it didn't get, like, top, top marks. But it is really pretty, so. And you know that I love blue-gray. So anyway, let's take a look at it. I'm actually going to put in a cough drop, hoping that that's going to like lubricate my throat or something. This is really bad, you guys. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Alright, for purple, we're looking at Julie G. This is Butterflies and Rosebuds. I don't think this is from a particular collection. I just picked this up randomly because I thought it was a pretty color. It's a super sparkly, shimmer, like deep magenta. I was actually surprised by how much I like this on the nail because I don't typically wear colors like this a lot. Even though, why would I pick up something I wasn't planning to wear? So maybe, deep down when I picked this up, I knew I was going to love it. Um, <laughs> but it is really pretty. So let's take a look at how it swatches in two coats. Okay, for my neutral polish today, <clears throat> I picked kind of a weird one. I probably wouldn't classify this as a neutral after I had swatched it and worn it, but I was already kind of going with the flow here, so I just left it in this spot. This is China Glaze Bat My Eyes from a couple um, Halloweens ago. Basically, I feel like this one, it like pretty much, it feels like, um, like a mummy's tomb to me. It has like this black blackened base and it has just tons of like antique again gold glitters in there. Does it have black glitters too? I think it has black glitters too. Um, on the nail this looks really really gaudy and really blingy. Not very neutral at all. Um, but it's kind of thick and like goopy and so for that reason, oh it actually it has some small bar glitters in there too that are reflecting some holographic um but they're like the half size bar glitters you know not the obnoxiously long ones so anyway I don't know how much I really care for this polish I think the concept is really good but when I put it on it was just too too kind of like chunky I don't know anyway let's take a look at it Okay, for my glitter, 
my second glitter I'm going to show you since the one I just showed you was pretty much just a glitter. Um, this is OPI So Elegant and it's a clear base with like I love this kind of silver glitter. It's like a deep 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 gray graphite kind of glitter and then it also has black glitters in there too. I'm not sure what collection this is from but I'll list it here if I find it online which I will for you. And um, anyway this one I think is really pretty. I think this looks really really pretty on the nail. It has multiple sizes of hex glitters and the largest ones are actually pretty large. I did have a little bit of a hard time getting this enough of this on my brush to um, get enough on the nail but you know as glitters go that's a pretty typical thing that you run into but I did have to like dab the brush in there a lot and hold it upside down a lot and things like that so I don't know I think it's still worth it though <laughs> because I do actually really think this is so pretty on the nail so let me show you right now cold is turning me into a crazy person. We only have one polish left. It's my A plus polish. It's what's been on my nails. Minus that little swatcheroo. That's not my A plus polish. Um, this one I just just couldn't get over how much I love this polish. Obviously it's not a summer or spring -ish shade but it's a it's like a navy but it's like a dusty navy. I know. You're like, okay, come on, we know you love dusty polishes. Well, I do. I can't help it. And I love blue polish. And this almost feels like it has a tiny bit of purple in it, too. Oh, my goodness. I love this so much. So, this is Phenom. P-H-E-N-O-M. Phenom from Dermalect. I think I only picked this up for a buck in the Ultra Clearance section. Ultra. In the Ulta clearance section and it's a one coater. <clears throat> my swatch that I'm going to do for you, I didn't quite get enough on the brush on my first go. Um, so I was able to get the whole nail covered eventually. But if I would have got a little bit more on my brush, I could totally just do one coat. This is just one coat. I wouldn't do a second one. It's plenty opaque. And I'm just like, why do a second coat? Just save this baby so you don't run out. <laughs> Like, we're ever going to run out of polish. Anyway, it's so gorgeous. If you happen to find this at your Ulta, pick it up because I love it so much. Um, yeah, one coat and done. I'm going to show you two in this watch. Um, but that's just because I always do two for you guys pretty much. But, yeah, so great. Let me show you. be done. <laughs> I still have a bunch of stuff I have to do today and basically I'm probably just going to end up having no voice by the end of the day. I did want to talk to you guys about one thing. My friend Jennifer Spivy, she has a channel here um, on YouTube and I will link that below of her video where she talks about this. She totally turned me on to this and it, um, 
it's using felt for your um, um, nail polish swabs. <laughs> I'm going to get that out. So I always use the ones that you can get at CVS, you know, the round cotton pads. It's like one side is soft and the other side is like a really fat, like, um, like the particles that like are coming off on you and stuff. So basically the only, only the one side is usable. But in Jennifer's video, she was talking about how um, Better London sent her a bunch of cotton or like swabs. I think they were pretty moistened, right, Jennifer? Um, but she was reading about them and they're basically mostly just all felt. So she went to, um, I think she said Walmart and just picked up some felt and um, took a little time cutting it up, but she was really enjoying using it as removers for her nail polish. So when I ran out of the stock that I had of cotton pads, I didn't purchase more and I just went and picked up some white felt. And for three bucks, I made um, 250 of these, one, well it's like, it's more than one inch, right? It's like one and a half inch maybe. Um, squares. <laughs> Come on, get it together. And you can use both sides. So, whereas before, I think I was paying three bucks for like, what is it, like 90? This way I was like three bucks for 250. And you can use both sides. Whereas with the cotton ones, you definitely can't because it gets too much stuff all over it. And the other thing that's nice about this is the felt is kind of. It's a different experience. If you try this out, <clears throat> um, you'll notice that it's a different feeling. At first it feels a little slippery, but the nice thing about the felt is it kind of grabs onto your stuff better, so regular polish comes off really easy, and actually I find that glitter polish comes off um, even better with these, too. So I really, really like them a lot. I'm so thankful to Jennifer for telling me about it. I've cut up so much of this stuff that I might list some of them. Um, at my store envy sale so you can pick up some and give them a try if you want to and then you'll know if you um, like this method or not and not have to buy a big old bolt of felt you can try it out and then you can just go pick up some for yourself if you like it um, but yeah I don't think I'm gonna go back to the other way because I like this so much it's so cost-effective so affordable and it takes off your nail polish really great so anyway I hope that helped you out and again thanks to Jennifer for letting us know so, um, that wraps us up, you guys. Sorry that I just clapped in your face. I'm so sorry that I've been so hoarse in this video. And you've been listening to my craziness. I hope you have a really great Saturday. I have to do school today. My class is due tomorrow. And <laughs> so today I have to, like, get all the final touches on my final portfolio and get everything turned in. I know. I'm a procrastinator. I'm one of those people that, like, waits till the last second to do stuff. But, yeah. What can I say? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I hope you're having a really great day. Not doing school, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And I think that's it. Bye.